Hello, everyone, today I would like to introduce our article published in the iMeta journal entitled, Integrating Genome-Wide and Transcriptome-Wide Association Studies to Uncover the Host Microbiome Interactions in Bovine Rumen Methanogenesis. We know, the composition of rumen microorganisms in cattle is affected by many factors, one of which is host genetics. In this study, we aim to elucidate how host genome and rumen microbiome affect rumen microbiota composition and abundance, thereby regulating methane emissions from dairy cows. This study using matched genome, transcriptome and microbiome sequencing data of the rumen through a single large-scale cohort of 574 Holstein cattle, and perform genome-wide association study and transcriptome-wide association study to identify the genetic variants and rumen genes influencing the rumen microbiota. Firstly, the composition and abundance of rumen bacterial and archaeal taxa from phylum to species levels were analyzed, and the differences in community diversity and structure between bacteria and archaea were compared. Secondly, we constructed interaction network of taxa at the genus level to identify the core dominant genera. To investigate whether host genetics impact the rumen microbiota, a correlation analysis was performed between host genetic kinship and microbiome similarity using the mantle test. We then evaluated the heritability of 317 microbial features, and found approximately 70% of taxa had significant heritability, these heritable bacterial taxa more than 50% belong to firmicutes. We investigated the association between genetic variants and heritable taxa abundance traits using genome-wide association study and identified 43 significant SNP taxon associations. Next, we constructed a transcriptome-wide association study atlas of rumen microbiota and detected 28,260 significant gene microbe associations, included 210 taxa and 4,652 unique genes. Moreover, the TWAS correlation features showed that heritability and expressibility were significantly positively correlated, the heritable rumen microbiota had more associated genes. Compared with random microbiota, rumen core microbiota had higher heritability, expressibility, and more TWAS genes. To further investigate the host-associated features of rumen archaea, a total of 1,703 significant associated genes were identified using TWAS approach, these rumen archaea-associated host genes provide a new opportunity to resolve methane emissions from the perspective of host-microbe interactions. In addition, we want to discover promising genes and microbes in methanogenesis, so we established a comprehensive relationship network among host rumen genes, rumen microbiota, and rumen volatile fatty acids with methanogenic archaea. From our above multiple correlation analyses, we found that several host rumen genes enriched in starch and sucrose metabolism pathway were positively related to acetic acid-producing bacteria and four methanogens, these high expression of the rumen epithelial amylase and glycogen genes leads to a shift in rumen fermentation towards acetate-type fermentation, which increased hydrogen production and in turn enhances the abundance of methanobrevibacter. In addition, another genes were positively correlated with propionic acid-producing bacteria and negatively correlated with four methanogens. When these genes for rumen epithelial hydrogen ion transport oxidative phosphorylation are highly expressed, the pathways for hydrogen utilization in the rumen increase, thereby reducing the abundance of methanobrevibacter in the rumen. Overall, we systematically evaluated the host genetic basis of bovine rumen microbiota. We found that a more direct relationship between rumen gene expression and rumen microbial abundance. Our results highlight that TWAS is a promising method for determining the host and microbiota associations at genation level. By combining multiple relationship networks, we observe that host microbe interactions in the rumen methanogenesis are primarily involved in substrate hydrogen metabolism and transport. These findings offer valuable guidelines for genetic regulation and microbial management strategies to mitigate methane emissions. That's all, thank you for your listening.